It was supposed to be the next major development on the Treasure Coast. This is what King's Landing is supposed to look like. Hotels, apartments, restaurants along the waterfront over in Fort Pierce. And while the project is still alive, it's not exactly going well. That's right. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us in Fort Pierce tonight with more on the blame game that's been unfolding. You don't see any construction here at the site of what's supposed to be King's Landing in Fort Pierce. The city says Audubon Development is in default, but the developer says the city misrepresented the readiness of the land, impacting the timeline, leaving many questioning if this project will ever be completed. Construction on King's Landing at the former site of a power plant in downtown Fort Pierce finally began this year after Audubon Development closed on the property in 2022. But what's supposed to one day be a hotel, condos, retail and restaurants remains dirt and there's currently no work being done. It has gone on too long and we all agree it has and so we want to get back on track. Dale Madison of Audubon Development, who's supposed to be working on this land, says the city slapped Audubon with a default notice for missing deadlines. However, he says it's actually the city's fault, adding the land was not in the condition they expected. Concrete was left behind from the power plant. We were supposed to be building King's Landing, not digging 1,500 tons of stuff out of the ground. They said, oh, you're, you're late. It's like this whole project is late. All the timing needs to be reset. Mayor Linda Hudson is now responding to those claims. We certainly are going to be talking about that and looking into it on our side. We feel like we've done everything we're supposed to, but we want to be absolutely sure. The city recently gave Audubon a 45-day extension to come up with a revised timeline to move forward. Fort Pierce business owners are eagerly watching. It's a waiting game. We still don't know what's going to happen is the only stress, but I, I see this project moving forward and I just hope that, you know, they can figure things out between the city and the developer. We're looking forward to this being already underway um, and it is a little disappointing and it's a little frustrating. We don't have anything else that's going to bring more people right now. The issue will be revisited in a May 14th Fort Pierce Redevelopment Agency meeting where Audubon is expected to offer the city an updated timeline before those 45 days are up. If that's productive and the project moves forward, Madison says the hotel will go up first. He hopes that will happen in 2027. In Fort Pierce, Stone Huberman, CBS 12 News.